Colorado, um, say a very veteran team, a bunch of seniors on there. Do they kind of show what can happen in college basketball if a bunch of guys decide to stick together for three or four years and and become a, a team like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, whenever you have um, seniors on the team, it really helps out because um, just experience-wise, guys have been through the circuit a lot, been through the ups and the downs. So definitely helps the team. Um, Colorado's a yeah, they're a veteran team. They know what they're doing, what they want on offense, what they want other teams to do on defense. So you got to come prepared. What have you seen out of their post guys? Out of their post guys, um, Tyler Bay is a, just a high energy, high motor. You know, he's uh, attacking the glass every possession. So uh, I got to match his energy and make him match mine. And see whose whose energy is better. Um, Evan Batty, uh, you know. Strong post, um, defensively very, very good. So when you got a challenge ahead of you. 20 games in, do you feel that, you know, you personally, you can match up and, and match that energy um, in, in just what you've seen from video? Obviously it's different once you're on the court, but. Um, yeah, that's my mindset going into the game. Um, don't get sped up, but uh, still try to, you know, work hard and, and uh, Certain things I gotta do fast, do do really fast, and um, by the time the game comes, you know, filming on my uh, person I'm going against. If I'm um, if they're putting in more work than me, then you know I gotta step it up. If I'm doing better than them, you know, put my phone together. So. Do you notice a difference when Tigers on the court versus when he's not on the court? Yeah. Um, Tiger Tigers really well at facilitating that um, starting the offense. And, uh, you know, he's a point guard. Like, he's been a point guard his whole life. Uh, you know, we asked Dave to uh, run a point guard, but he's really been off the ball for most of his um, career. So, you know, um, definitely a big difference. Tiger's uh, very good at what he does. I think you went on a radio show recently and said that you were eager to kind of show the UCLA fans you know, uh, how much the school means to you. How, how much would a, would a, you know, a win like this against a, a nationally ranked team at Pauly uh, kind of be a shot in the arm for you guys? Um, uh, any win at this point, <laughs> any win I, I'm taking. Uh, but yeah, Colorado's a good team. It'll be, it'll be very, very good for us if we uh, obviously beat them. Um, you know, we just got to stay focused and, and um, do what Coach tells us. What was kind of the, the takeaway from that Oregon game? Obviously, they sped you up with the press and all that stuff, but was there something that you think you can learn from that going forward that will help you? Uh, just you got to be ready to play, um, no matter what's going on um, around you. And, you know, with distractions come, you know, you just always got to be ready to play. This is what we're here for, to, um, to play basketball, to win. So definitely um, always stay ready, but you know, you, you got to be the team that punches first sometimes. Um, sometimes we, we call on our heels. A lot of times we get caught on our heels. And, uh, you know, it's hard to bounce back from 20 plus turnovers in the game, especially when you're on the road. So, yeah, we got to be the team that punches first. How much did not having Tiger bring that press hurt the, the ability of breaking it down? Uh, it hurt a lot because, um, I believe Tiger, Tiger can uh, um, get the press better by himself sometimes. Um, he doesn't practice, but uh, just, you know, when, you, when you're relying on somebody um, and to do a specific thing and then, you know, injury happens or whatever happens, you know, you gotta find a way to, you know, to correct it and fill in for his, in his shoes. Um, we didn't really do a good job at that point. So you guys work better on that. You going for the Tiger look? The Tiger look? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, we, we, we good friends. We live together. So. Oh, OK. Hey, my have some influence on it, but not, not the Tiger look. <laughs> too long? It's too long? Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, am not. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't go back. <laughs> Was it kind of weird in a weird kind of sense to play a basketball game on Sunday after just hours after finding out about Kobe Bryant? I mean, you're gonna play no matter what, but was it just kind of a weird feeling? Uh, it was, it was eerie. Um, I never really had to, uh, you know, do do something like that. Um, Kobe was so big in my life. You know, that's the reason why I wear 24. 
um, it's so big, so inspirational. There is some news about um, right before my game, uh, before our game was, it was it was a travesty to be honest. Um, but with me, you know, the way I handle things in my life, I just try to work as hard as I can, no matter what, and it normally works out for me. Have you been able to stop by the Staples Center at all since then? No, nah, I haven't. Um, you know, I I tend to, um, you know, like to handle those things personally. Um, of course, I had to call my parents and and just tell them how much I love them because that, that's really what happened. Um, that's what, you know, that's what comes with, with things like that. It just makes you appreciate everything you have around you um, a lot more. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.